What if I told you that you could make girls chase you just by chatting? Would you believe me? Fellas, don't be quick to dismiss this. Look at your past accomplishments. How many gifts have you given to girls? How much thought have you put into them? Yet, why are you still single? It's because you don't understand the basic principles of pursuing girls. But don't worry, today I'm gonna teach you a trick that will keep you in control. I've learned that as long as your phone has internet access, your messages will keep coming in. But it's not easy. It's recommended to like and save this and study it several times. There's this guy who came to me and said, the last time he went to a company branch out of town for a meeting, he met her. Before this, he was a workaholic with no interaction with the girls around him. But after meeting her, she often reminds him to go to bed early, not to work overtime sometimes, and even gives him breakfast and coffee. When he's busy at work, she stays with him quietly. When he's anxious, she comforts him. He's really attracted to her and wants her to know his feelings. But he's really too shy and it's a long-distance relationship. Every day he can only talk to her about work. He really doesn't know how to make her fall in love with him through the screen. This guy, as the saying goes, is secretly in love. His love for the girl is already surging. But because he doesn't know how to chat, this stormy wave reaches the girl as just a little splash. So, there's been no progress in his relationship with the girl. The solution is simple, just chat with her. But remember, it's about chatting with her, not at her. Use your own emotions and appeal to attract the girl. Let her unconsciously share her happiness, sadness, and joy. Just wait for her to catch up with you for the rest. After that, I took this guy with me. How many days have the girls chatted? While we are getting closer, we're also waiting for the opportunity. One evening, the girl sent this message. She has been working overtime every day recently. So you're tired, huh? Here's your chance. When girls complain, they're actually asking for emotional validation. If you can provide that, congrats. You've got enough emotional value. Your status as a nice guy is pretty solid. But giving it directly seems too cheap and not giving it seems insincere. So what do we do? I told my buddy, get ready. Act only when there's a surprise. Break her expectations? It'll make her curious again. Even if she knows it's a trap, she'll jump in. Sure enough, the girl replied instantly. Let's continue. I heard that when girls are tired, just lend them your shoulder to lean on. Seeing you work so hard, I can't help but feel sorry for myself. Let's satisfy the girl's emotional needs first, while maintaining our own high profile. This also creates an image of two people relying on each other, a kind of ambiguous atmosphere. Fill it up directly, then which girl would refuse? Sure enough, the girl came back. Go away. Who wants to lean on your shoulder? What about the girl's emotions? Apparently, we stirred them up. Then this is the effect. Have mood swings and then good feelings will be generated. But since girls are still reserved, let's do something too. Retreat to advance. Then my buddy said, forget it, but don't tire yourself out. Otherwise, there's a man who will feel distressed. When the girl comes back, please say goodbye. It's so cheesy that it gives me goosebumps. Guys, do you think so? We've been chatting for a long time, but what about this? That's why you're single. Chatting with girls is like two people dancing together. As long as you can lead, understand the game, then your dance is more attractive to girls than other men's. So we continue to retreat. Tell me what you want. I'm talking about your dad. Why are you reacting so loudly? Could it be that you have feelings for me? What a joke. Easily resolve the awkward atmosphere while pointing out the girl's little thoughts. Test the girl's attitudes. This is the art of chatting. As long as the girl can never guess where you'll go next, when she gets into trouble, she'll fall into your arms. The girl replied and put this routine aside, but I, guys, girls are all reserved. Even if he blushes, he would always insist on the blush on this painting. So we just took a resolute attitude. How can I know any tricks? I just heard that if the person you like is unhappy, this will make him happy. Try it on you. The effect is not bad. There will be more ways to coax her in the future. This is how the girl in the play responds. Are you treating me as a guinea pig for an experiment? Someone you like? Then go find her. 
My buddy is so anxious. But I told my buddy, it's okay to be angry. His anger proves that he is jealous. Proves that he has you in his heart. So at this time, don't let the air leak. But we must continue to adhere to our attitude. We will answer yes or no. But I don't know if he likes me or not. Every time I chat with him, I worry about annoying him if I talk too much. If I say too little, I'm afraid he won't be able to feel my feelings. But even if I'm stupid, but the man sitting by the campfire, can you really not feel the heat? We use the third person substitute, subtly point out the brother's feelings for the girl. At the same time, it raised questions. Remember, just cater to me. You can never beg for favor from a girl you love. The only way is to confront girls head on. Only then can we be reborn from the ashes, ushering in a turning point. A few minutes passed. When the girl replies, you won't talk about me again, right? So the girl is still playing coy with us. Then we won't play her game anymore. I told my buddy to hold back, to keep his eager fingers still. Let the girl's emotions continue to simmer for a while. Three minutes passed. The girl sent another message, and it wasn't you who spoke. The girls are already getting anxious. Then our opportunity will come. As a result, the emotions have been brewing for so long. The girl has understood what my buddy is thinking. She is now eager to get an affirmative answer from him. Oh, this time, should he confess his love? Of course not. Although the dawn of victory is right in front of us, we can't let our guard down. So, I asked my buddy to go back to the conversation we just had. Why are you so anxious? Don't tease me if a girl replies to you instantly. If what you just said is serious, then let me ask you, what do you like about me? This is both an opportunity and a trap for the girl. Although given enough sincerity, but in my eyes, what you get through begging is definitely not true love. The only answer is to go in both directions. We respond to you because someone else likes you. It's not confident. Are you looking for some specific details to prove it? The girl replied, Falling in love is not such a casual thing. Who knows what you really think? Are the girls under our repeated attacks finally expressing their concerns? Now that the girl has openly exposed her flaws, what about us? I won't miss the chance to strike either. Let's see how I won with one blow. We can't fall in love casually. But liking someone is something I won't be casual about either. If you can't give me the feedback I want, then it's really up to you. What's the point of this sentence, guys? Because we took the first step, but it doesn't mean we will always give unconditionally. This is called attitude, can make girls feel liked and sincere. It also allows girls to understand your attitude and bottom line. Show sincerity without being pretentious. More able to fight, move girls' hearts. Then finish sending this message. Girls keep showing that they are typing. My buddy is still very nervous, but I reassure him. Now we just have to wait. Wait for the girl to feel his sincerity. Waiting for the trumpet of victory to sound. Waited for an hour. The girl finally sent a message. I don't know how I feel about you either. Feelings between friends, there are also some indescribable tastes. I only know that I am really happy when I get along with you. So if you can do what you say, I'm also willing to give us a chance. Although the girl didn't nod directly, but the attitude is self-evident. Under my guidance, my buddies are also very competitive. What about a month later? Successfully holding hands. So guys, it's really easy to chase girls. As long as you have the right mindset for chatting, understand the basic logic of chasing girls, even if it's just chatting, girls will also take the initiative to be with you. If you're looking to master the art of attracting girls, want them to pursue you, or need advice on love and dating recovery, then stay tuned to my videos. Don't forget to like, share with your loved ones, and subscribe to the Dark Psychology World channel for more insightful content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.